Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another what's inside my bag video, which I've got no clue what's inside it at this point. Um, I really like doing these videos. They're fun. I think it's been about two months since the last video that I've done, and I've been using this bag for a little under two weeks. So it started off very organized, as you guys know, and now it's just a lot going on. So we're going to dive in and see what's going on. And then typically after I'm done with these videos, I like to clean it up so it's nice and organized. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to find out what's inside this bag, because I really don't know, I'm a little scared, then just keep watching. So quickly, before we get into the contents of the bag, I just wanted to share my bag. I haven't used this in about a year, but I really love it. It's really sleek. It fits a lot. It's the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Shopper. Locks right there, hence the fact that that's why it's called that. But you can fit a decent amount in it. It's got the two dividers. As you guys can see, I just don't want like the contents of my bag to like spill out, but I really like it. It's really simple and sleek. Um, and as usual, if you guys are interested in a more affordable version of this bag, look in the description down below. So first off, I don't know if I mentioned this already in an Amazon haul if that video went up or not, but this is my new kind of like journal. I'm back into journaling again and I like to sometimes bring it with me if I'm gonna be like waiting somewhere at an appointment or whatever or waiting in my car or whatever. Um, I like to just have my journal with me if I wanna like write down things or just journal my thoughts, my feelings, um, scripting, if you guys know what that is. Um, so yeah, I have my journal, it is in my purse and I'm obsessed with this. I just love the color of it, you guys. It's just a basic, well it's not basic because of the way it looks but it's just a composition notebook but it has plenty of pages it has 200 pages so I can write down anything I want in it and it's really girly really cute really stylish it's from Amazon I will have it linked down below but yeah I've been carrying this in my purse and since it's a little bit smaller it's like nine inches I think by seven something I can fit it in my purse so that I can journal whenever I want then next is a receipt actually from today for Dunkin Donuts and typically I don't like ask for the receipt but there's this app and I probably should have shared this before with you guys there's this app called Fetch and you literally scan every single receipt and you'll at least get 25 points and for every 10,000 points or like 9,500 points you can redeem it for a gift card to like anywhere so I've been using it for I want to say like two months now and I've already gotten two $10 Bath & Body Works um, gift cards. You can scan receipts from local places, from anywhere. So now I just ask for receipts. And depending on, um, like if it's a grocery store, some items might be worth a lot more points. Like I've had receipts before that were like 700 points um, and it's free. All you do is scan receipts and then you can cash it. And when you get to the certain level for gift cards, it's legit. So that's why I asked for the receipt in a nutshell. So I already scanned it and got $25 in it or 25 points in it. I'll actually link the Fetch app down below. This isn't like sponsored or anything. I just figured I'd mention it. Um, but that's why this receipt is in there. And FYI, Butter Pecan is a permanent 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 flavor at Dunkin Donuts that is the best news I've heard that is or this is my favorite flavor at Dunkin Donuts especially for hot coffee and um, I haven't really been crazy about any other flavors and um, this is permanent so it's back mine's been sitting for a while so that's why it looks like this but butter pecan is back next and I'm proud of myself because I put it in the little pouch here um, are my sunglasses I absolutely love these sunglasses you guys and they're oversized they're not aviators. I'm not into aviators. These are just more like oversized sunglasses, kind of with an aviator look, but not really. And I love them. I wear them all the time. Obsessed with them. Again, if you guys are interested in a more affordable version of these sunglasses, look in the description down below. You guys have seen this pouch. It's pretty basic. Actually, no, I switch pouches. So I went to this pink one. I think before it was like gold one I was using. This is just an old Ipsy bag. Um, from years ago. I don't even get Ipsy anymore, but um, I just have odds and ends in here. I have, you know, the basics like this. I've got a pen. I've got lactates for my husband because he's lactose intolerant and just doesn't care and he eats cheese and ice cream, so I have to give that to him. Eye drops, hair ties, you name it. I probably got it. It's almost like a drugstore in here, so that's just my little pouch. Then I just got my keys. Nothing crazy, 
just my keys. And then I have two hand sanitizers in here, so I really don't need two from Bath & Body Works. They're just the pocket backs. This is Watermelon Lemonade. I love this one, especially for the summertime. That's what it looks like. And then this one is actually new. This is Sweet Apple. I had mentioned this in a Bath & Body Works haul. It's probably up by now. Uh, but they have Sweet Apple, and typically Sweet Apple is a fall scent, but they have it in the spring, and I really like it, even though... You know, it's a quintessential fall scent. It actually smells like autumn, to be honest with you guys. It smells like the scent autumn that they have out in the fall. But it smells so nice. So that's what that is. So I'll probably just put one in my car and one in my purse because I don't need two in my purse at the moment. Next is my kind of lip gloss. I have other lip products in here. I don't think I mentioned this one. So you guys have probably seen the um, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump these all over like YouTube, whatever, social media. Um, they were like really popular. So I decided to try them and um, they're kind of like considered like a lip balm, but it's like different. It's like a glossy lip balm. And then it's cool because you just push up and that's how you get it to go up and then you apply it. This is in the shade Mixed Berries. So this is the plumping one. So you kind of can feel the cooling effect when you put it on. And I feel like Too Faced, I have Too Faced version, it's just a lip gloss, it's the same thing. I do like these, but I just wish they had more pigmentation. Like, that looks pigmented, but on my lips, it really just doesn't, like, I have lipstick on, but if I just put this on my regular lips, it really doesn't give me that much color. I wish they were just more pigmented, that would be my only complaint. But I do like it, and I think it's unique how you, like, push up on this. Um, so I just decided to go in the shade Mixed Berries. So that's that, and then, you know, we got this, my Orbitz gum, the packaging kind of fell off of it, but this is my favorite gum, mention it a million times. So I think I threw this in my bag earlier, and I always do this, if I know I'm going to be somewhere and I'm going to get hungry, I'll just throw in a protein bar, these are the Trader Joe's Chewy Chocolate and Peanut Butter Protein Bars, comment down below if you've tried these out before, I love them, they're my favorite protein bars, um, I put them in my husband's lunch, I just love them. Side note, I love Trader Joe's. I go at least once a week. At least, at least. Um, so I just have that. I'm going to put this back in the kitchen or even just leave it in there because they're always good to have when you're on the go. And then we have my basic wallet. It's open. You guys know I never take the time to shut it. I just don't. I should, but I don't. Um, I have no cash, so that's definitely normal for me. Um, not really anything important going on here, you guys. Yesterday, I did mulch. I think I had to go back twice, but I ended up getting like 19 bags. That's how much mulch I needed for my front yard. Um, and we've done it in the past where like we get it delivered and it lasts like two years. But I find just doing it by the bags is really easy. They usually, if you have it delivered or pay to have somebody deliver it, they put it in a big, huge mound on your driveway, and then you got to go with the wheelbarrow back and forth, back and forth. I remember two years ago, I was in so much pain. It took me all day long, and I really didn't think that mulch was better than what you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, to be honest with you. Um, it's just the convenience of having it delivered, and you can disregard my cats because they're currently fighting right now. Um, that's Jack's bullying koala. So I was like, you know what, this year, let's just buy the bags. It's so much easier. I literally take the bag, dump it out, spread it out with my hands. That's what I do. So it was 19 bags. It didn't take me too long, but I had to go back for more. But to make a long story short, I was going back and forth between Home Depot and Lowe's and comparing their mulches that were on sale. They all say 12-month color guarantee, but they don't last. The color, like after the first rain you have, the color just starts to go downhill. The color doesn't last. So if in a couple months I feel like it's really bad, I save the receipt because it says 12-month color guarantee. So I could just go back and be like, my mulch is not black anymore. So that's why I saved the receipt, you guys. My husband bought one of those flexible hoses, and we love them, but they always end up breaking. So this time he saved the receipt. So when it does break, he's just going to go get another one. This one was $50. They are a little bit more pricier. Um, they're great, but they do because they're fabric. They just tend to break after a while. So I'm saving these two receipts from the Home Depot. That's why they're in my wallet. But other than that, Nothing really important or exciting going on in my wallet. So last but not least is just what's in that middle pocket. My purse actually isn't as bad as I thought it was, but there's some things I really don't need in there that aren't necessary. Um, we just have random lipsticks. We've got MAC Faux. We've got MAC Faux. Why do I have two MAC Faux in here? Okay, so that's like pretty much done. I could swatch it out for you guys. 
MAC Faux with the, um, the Juicy Maracuja Lip Plum from Tarte. It's like perfect together. Um, I don't have that lip combo on today. And then this one, okay, so this one I usually keep up here, but it's just more full. Um, and then I've mentioned, oh my God, I've got lipsticks going everywhere. I've mentioned this, but it's like almost to the end. It's the um, Buxom Full-On Lip Polishes. I love these. I feel like these even have a little bit more pigmentation than the Tarte one I mentioned. This is in the shade Evelyn, um, and I just have that in my purse as well, but I love the Buxom Lip Polishes. And yeah, that's... It for this what's in my bag it's not too bad actually you guys I probably will do, be doing another one soon because I am going to switch my bag probably in the next week or two so again if you guys are interested in any of these luxury items look in the description down below but anyways that is it I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video bye